Crime reporter Henry Lee live now for us this afternoon at Danville Police Department there with details of this latest incident. Henry. Yeah, it seems that like we can't go a week without another Rolex robbery like these other incidents recently. This happened in broad daylight and the bad guys were armed with guns. And, but the car was right here and I believe he was getting in on the passenger or the driver's side. Danville Flower Shop employee Sherry Allen says a customer was robbed of his Rolex watch after leaving her store and that one of the robbers fired a shot. I just heard a pop, so I came out to, because the gentleman had just been in our store, I came out to see if they were okay, and he said that they had just ripped his watch right off his arm. It happened at the Livery Shopping Center at Sycamore Valley Road and San Ramon Valley Boulevard at about 2.45 Saturday afternoon. I've learned that several men armed with pistols with extended magazines robbed the owner of a Danville restaurant and his business partner was pistol whipped while trying to intervene. One of the robbers fired a shot, but no one was hit. The daughter of one of the victims told me she believes nothing is being done to protect the people of Danville. She's thankful no one was hurt or killed in the latest Rolex robbery in the Tri-Valley area. Last month, a man was followed home in Walnut Creek, beaten and robbed of his watch. Also in July, three suspects were arrested after they robbed a victim of his Rolex outside the Danville Trader Joe's store and led police on a chase to Antioch. In June, four women in a Bentley were followed to a home in Danville where they were robbed of watches and jewelry. One victim's fiance exchanged gunfire with the robbers. Danville's usually a safe place and you know, we feel protected. This is a nice shopping center. So to hear something like that hitting kind of close to home, it's a little unnerving. These robberies have raised questions as to whether Rolex owners should wear them in public. Shoppers at the livery we spoke to had mixed reaction. I think they should be able to wear what they want and with the idea that if I have it, I wear it. Otherwise, it doesn't do me any good in the jewelry box. I personally, I mean, I don't have a Rolex, but if I did, I don't know if I would be wearing it under these conditions. <laughs> Yeah, there have been other Rolex robberies all over the Bay Area, including in San Francisco, Daly City, and San Leandro. But this cluster here in Danville and the Tri-Valley still ongoing despite some arrests. Live in Danville, Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Henry, thank you so much.